Hello, my name is Didier Lacasse. I would like to welcome you to the Sachawarmi Center. Uh, this is a project which uh, we hope will contribute uh, to help uh, reconnect both uh, indigenous people to their ancestral connection with nature and also, and I would probably say most important of all, uh, help uh, non-indigenous people to understand the meaning of that intimate connection that those cultures have had with nature and uh, why it is so important that uh, they value the, the legacy that these cultures are uh, offering us today before they actually disappear you know from the this planet so basically our such a warmy center is a place where we will try to work towards achieving this goal that indigenous cultures are better acknowledged recognized valued respected and uh, so we can offer them this recognition so that they w will also uh, realize the importance of not losing that culture as it is happening today with especially the younger generations. Why it is so important? Because we are talking about uh, well basically our life on this planet, the life of the whole planet, the life of the whole humanity and we believe that uh, uh, indigenous cultures especially in the field of health care as it is our most uh, sort of uh, important uh, topic that we'll de be dealing in the center is uh, something that really can, you know, uh, can help to uh, develop, to uh, ev help our modern medicine to evolve, uh, incorporating those other concepts, this other dimension of health, uh, more integral dimension that has to do with, you know, the individual. Uh, uh, is the relationship with oneself, the relationship with society, and the relationship with nature. So it's a three-dimensional, uh, it's a three-dimensional uh, uh, structure that needs to be com constantly connected to be in good health, as uh, we've learned from indigenous people. Uh, well, you see, uh, when uh, you hear the stories of the ancestors, they tell you that. Uh, uh, when the first, first people came here, they were uh, given some uh, messages, they were given some uh, indication how they were supposed to behave with nature. Nature is another society where there are lots of different beings there, you know, and uh, we relate to this other society by extracting resources we human beings have this privilege of transforming resources. We extract those resources, we extract energy from the forest, from the river, but we must also consider that this other society then is losing something that we are taking from it, so we have to learn how to give back to it, so that we both, nature and society, can reproduce themselves. So this is the message that those cultures have been passing down from generations to generations that we all have heard to you know sometime in our history but for us modern industrial societies we have gone away from that and and uh, so basically this message is a reminder that this connection has never ever disappeared it has, it has never been gone completely and we need to acknowledge this once again realizing that a lot of what we call the environmental diseases and a lot of the health problems today have de definitely to do with the deterioration of our ecosystems and that indigenous people have just another way of understanding this, you know, the spirits that were created, the disincarnated beings that were created by the Creator to protect those, those resources have been, you know, watching uh, on, on those resources and I've been telling people that they have to remind, remember those lessons from the origin. Well, the most important message that I have is that uh, is to tell people that nature is alive, that plants are beings that can respond if you, if you talk to them, if you ask them to heal you, to heal you, to protect you, 
to if you learn how to live well with nature it will help you to feel better and more healthy and also it will help you to learn about the things many people want to learn today about the mysteries of of nature of the world you know there's a lot of information there's a lot of wisdom which is contained in plants in rivers in natural sites it's there for us to tap into but we have to learn of how to approach them and uh, and from there we can maybe find many of the answers we have to our questions today well i support the rise of nature because i i speak with nature and nature is asking me to help to pass on this message so i would like to ask to ask you to join your voice with my voice to support the rights of nature nature is asking for those rights to be acknowledged to be recognized and uh, we must all learn how to listen to nature so that these rights actually transform into something more concrete based not just on what we think the rights of nature are but what nature is actually actually asking us to recognize <laughs>